Hey friends, today we are continuing our Disneyland Paris trip and we are heading to Walt Disney Studios Park and I'm so excited. This park has a Tower of Terror and an Avengers Campus and I cannot wait to show you around. We're gonna ride some rides, eat some food and just have a beautiful Walt Disney Studios kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. Look at how awesome that Walt Disney Studios water tower is. I actually love the front facade of this whole entire park. You can actually see Mickey Sorcerer Hat peeking through right there. And I'm excited for this day. I haven't explored much around here, so a lot of it is new to me. And I can't wait to just, you know, share my experiences with you. It is like 40 degrees out today and I'm expecting some rain a little bit later on so I'm rocking the Steamboat Willie Roosevelt combination. I got the hat and the hoodie and I figured it was fitting since we're going to Walt Disney Studios. One of the things I definitely love about this park is the fact that you have to walk through Studio One to actually get into the park. And it's so cool because on the inside, it's like Sunset Boulevard at Hollywood Studios. I really feel like this is a combination of Epcot, California Adventure, and Hollywood Studios. They have a Toy Story area, they have a Avengers Campus, and they even have a Remy's Ratatouille Adventure area. So it kind of is all combined together to make a Studios Park. Here's a look at the map. We are right here. You have the Tower of Terror, Avengers Campus. You have the worlds of Pixar over here with Cars area, Cars Road Trip, Toy Story Playland, Ratatouille, Crush's Coaster. It's a kind of a small park, so you can do this pretty quickly. And uh, even though it's small, I think it's a lot of fun. It's almost in the shape of a hidden Mickey. It's a little crooked though. We're gonna make our way into Studio One. Look at Mickey up there. And like I said, I love this because it's like indoor Hollywood Studios Sunset Boulevard. Look, as soon as you walk in. And this is the main entrance into the park. Got the Brown Derby. I love it in here. You got a Hollywood Jewel Box. You even have like a Hollywood and Vine area over here. It's definitely a unique idea. All of these places are just facades though because we're inside of a, a studio so there's not actually like a Hollywood and Vine. Uh, they have like you know quick service restaurants back there and shops and I got super excited because they have a leaky tiki and I thought maybe there was a tiki bar but it's just a place to sit down. It would have been cool if that was an actual tiki bar like a little Trader Sam's kind of area and then you just walk right back out the doors and you're officially in the park itself. And uh, I don't know where we should start our day today. Yeah. I'm kind of like thinking, oh, maybe we should go to Tower of Terror since it's right there. Instead of buying the all day Premier Access Pass, I think I'm gonna use single individual ones. There are 16 euros for like Avengers Assemble Flight Force. Twilight to uh, Zone Tower of Terror is 16 euros. And then Crush's Coaster is 18. The same thing with Spider-Man Web Adventures. And I'm sure this makes much more sense. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm curious to see what the Avengers Assemble coaster is going to be like. I believe that used to be Rock and Roller Coaster, and then they turned it over into an Avengers themed coaster since it's in Avengers Campus. And then also, the same thing goes for the uh, Cars Road Trip. I'm not too sure if it's much like Cars Land over in DCA, but we're going to find out. But for right now, it's time for the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. And we've got our little premiere access here. All right. Perfect. I was very curious of the actual lobby of this hotel. Seems a little bit cleaner. I don't see much cobwebs in here. Oh, there's little cobwebs up there. Look at that. Checking in, please. Take a look at that creepy doll actually sitting on the couch over there. It's a little frightening. Hollywood, 1939. Dans le Strasse et les paillettes d'un Hollywood à l'apogée de son âge d'or, le Hollywood Tower Hotel était 
est une star à part entière. Apportez également une attention toute particulière à vos enfants. Merci. such a great ride there was no filming allowed but I do have to say it is definitely a little bit more creepier than any of the other towers in fact I was like a little bit like spooked out and it doesn't have the extra dimension at uh, like the, it doesn't have that extra dimension that you go through like at Hollywood Studios but the creep factor really did it for me and I loved it I liked it a lot Something that's really cool is once you get off the ride, you actually just go right on into Avengers Campus here. How nifty is that? This Avengers Campus is different from California Adventure. Pim's Test Kitchen is the actual buffet, which I would love to get into. I mean, that would be incredible. Can you imagine a Pim's Test Kitchen buffet? And then, of course, they don't have like Guardians of the Galaxy, and instead they have the Avengers Assemble coaster. But I'm sure we'll see some really awesome characters, maybe even uh, the Hulk, because I hear the Hulk is actually here for this two weeks. Looks like Ant-Man is outside right now doing meet and greets. Wow. It looks a little bit different though, like compared to what I'm used to seeing. Might be a little bit tighter, but we'll see once we get down there. Uh-oh, I feel some rain. It does look like they have a quick service, Stark Factory, with pizza and pasta. And I wasn't interested in going in here since we're going to Pim's, but I noticed the Hulk Buster right in the center. So I had to come in and see it. Look at that. That is incredible. That's awesome, isn't it? We were lucky enough to grab a reservation for Pimp's Test Kitchen, and I'm excited to have a little buffet lunch. I'm really, I'm, I'm really interested to see if it's the same food from California, but buffet style. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be good. I can't believe we got it. We're very lucky. Here it is, Pim Kitchen, and like I said, it's a buffet. It's 45 euro, 45 euro, and they have a lot of different offerings. I can't wait to see if they have the pretzel in here, along with some of the good mixed drinks that they have over at uh, DCA, and uh, I'm excited. Probably have a little cocktail, wouldn't mind that, and uh, eat some uh, Pim Particle food. The restaurant itself is really themed nice. It has tons of murals of Ant-Man himself. Big gigantic dome ceilings. It's really cool in here. I'm gonna get myself a drink. Now a, a regular non-alcoholic drink is included, but you can get like a specialty cocktail. And I'm not too sure what it is, but I think they said it was blue. And uh, they bring out a gigantic pretzel, uh, kind of like as a bread service, uh, that's not on the buffet. So I'm excited to see that come out. Well, it's not exactly the giant pretzel I'm used to seeing, but it's still a pretty decent size. And I think it's all you can eat, but I thought that was kind of funny. I was hoping for the big old one, you know? Now to see if it tastes like the pretzel that I love so much. I'm gonna give you guys the full rundown of the buffet. They have a gigantic pretzel sandwich with pastrami, 
a gigantic hot dog, and then also little tiny miniature hot dogs. So you can get a piece of the big one, or you can have some of the little ones. They have a little pasta section here where they do different pastas. This one is a gorgonzola, and they use those gigantic noodles. This one is like regular marinara. Look at that. They have a gigantic burger. You can get a slice of the gigantic burger, or you can get a little mini burger. I love that. They've got some gnocchi here. They've got uh, wheat strips with chickpeas. They've got fried chicken wings. These chicken wings look good. They've got prawn stir fry, green beans over here. And then I'll skip this section and come back. But on this side, they have gigantic jambalaya. Look at this. I'll take this whole entire thing back to my table. They've got mini corn dogs and Mexican egg rolls over there. I'm excited for this jambalaya though. That looks phenomenal. Look at it. And then over here, this is the one I was saying I'll come back to. They've got, uh, looks like barbecue ribs. Oh no, this is just roasted pork with barbecue sauce on it. Cauliflower, potatoes, uh, crab cakes, salmon, and then a crumble, uh, crumble from vegetable. Crumble from vegetable. So it's cool that they have big things and they have little things. I'm so happy that we were able to get in here, but I'm a little worried that I'm gonna eat so much food, I'm not gonna wanna run around the parks. So I'm gonna have to try to keep it calm, try to keep it cool. They have prawns over here and shrimp, and then some funny looking sauces. This looks like blue mayonnaise. I think they have regular mayonnaise too. But why blue? <laughs> why is it blue? Oh, I need some wet naps. That's what I need. I'm gonna put a couple of those in my purse. That's the way. And uh, here's the salad bar. I think we've got some spicy hummus up top with Doritos in it. Look at that, spicy hummus. And then they've got a little like salad mix, but I like how the dressings are all in uh, little uh, lab vials. That's kind of cool. Grilled chicken, the works. Some more salad and smoked meats over here. Wow. <laughs> That's incredible. Thank you. That is incredible. Our drinks have arrived. Look at these things. Oh, that looks so cool. I can't wait to try it. And then I also got a Fanta there. And uh, yeah, lots of food. Lots of food to take in here. And those things that were up there, the barbecue, that wasn't chicken or ribs. It's just pork. So it's barbecue pork, but now we're gonna try the, the drink itself. That's good. That's honestly refreshing. It reminds me of the blue raspberry slushies at Ames. I'm pretty sure it's just champagne with goche berries in it. it. It's good, but you really can't really taste anything alcoholic wise. I just taste the, like that blue raspberry flavor. I'm not even too sure how I'm gonna go in on this, but here we go. There is just so much food here they give you. Well, there's so much food options they give you. <laughs> like you can literally just go up there and just have something new plate after plate after plate. I'm trying to try a little bit of everything, but at the same time, I just wanna devour all the things that I love so far. The jambalaya was phenomenal, not too spicy. The chicken wings was so good. The pasta I loved. I've always wanted to have those big noodles, you know, the really long noodles, and that's the first time having them. And I'm like, wow, I gotta order them for my house. And uh, yeah, the burger was really good too. The burger though seems a little weird. I might want to try the little version. The kids buffet has like the little mini burgers, uh, shoestring fries, breaded cauliflower, and then look at this pasta. It's like a mac and cheese. Got the big old noodles in there too. And also they have a ice cream station with uh, all the toppings, but the ice cream itself is like a really cool dispensary. I wanna show you, but maybe a little bit later on. This is by far the most I've eaten on this trip. Like, I'm going, I'm going ham here. There's a lot, and I enjoy almost all of it. Like, I really do. I said I wasn't gonna try to eat that much because I think we're gonna go ride uh, Avengers, uh, uh, which assemble right after this, so 
big buffet, roller coasters. I don't know if that's a great combination. Look at these desserts. They have a gigantic Oreo. I'm all about a gigantic Oreo. They have a gigantic, well, they say Maxi, a Maxi Madeline, and then Mini Madeline. Look at those. I love those. They have a uh, Maxi Donut up top there. I don't know if you can see it too well. Then they have a huge strawberry dessert and giant uh, gummy bears. That's awesome. It's like uh, gummy bears, but they're, I think they're jello. That's such a little, oh, and they have a little tiny mini di uh, donut too. So they have a big, they have a maxi and a mini on almost all the desserts. Oh, and then they have another section over here. Look at this. Pim and cake. This is some kind of creme brulee. It's like blue sauce that you put on your dessert. Pear crumb cake. They've got the wasp cells up top here. That's really cool. So many things, right? Creme brulee. Coulé de frambois. Coulé de frambois. I did pretty good there, huh? <laughs> Coulé de Coulé de frambois. Yeah, that's a raspberry sauce. That's a raspberry sauce. I have to try some of these fancy sauces. Oh, a little bit too much. There we go. <laughs> so I got uh, some carrot cake there. Ooh, I'm gonna have my my hand all dyed from the bottom of the uh, bottle there. Yeah, that's a good start. Ooh, they even got jello shots in the back there, too. I'm gonna try the maxi Oreo first. That should be. Wow. I'm gonna take the carrot cake with the pin particle on it, and I'm gonna mix all the sauces together. I don't know if that's the combination I should be doing. Carrot cake with anglaise. Anglaise. Enrique Inglesia. <laughs> but here we go. Yeah, it's very good. The carrot cake is good. Now I'm gonna eat my pin particle. It's red, so I don't know if that means I grow or I shrink. We'll find out. <laughs> The server taking care of us is hysterical. Literally, he came up to me and DTH left for a second. He said, where did he go? Where did he go? And I was like, to get more food? And he was like, oh, okay. He thought maybe he shrunk down and he was looking for them. And then we ordered some espresso and he said, he's sorry, but uh, the cups actually grow. <laughs> I'll be honest, that might be my all-time favorite Disney buffet. I really love the concept behind it. The food backed up the concept, and it was incredible. I didn't have the best uh, time with the Disney food so far in Disneyland Paris, and I kind of always heard rumors that it was horrible, but that just stands out on its own. I think that is absolutely amazing. Such a great idea, and uh, <laughs> I, I wish I had one that wasn't so far away. I would go all the time. Right across from PEMS is uh, uh, Spider-Man Web Slingers, and it's a 70 minute wait, but they also have a 10 minute single rider line. So I think we're gonna do it. Even though this isn't my favorite ride, I still wanna uh, take DTH on it. And then we're gonna do Flight Force. Avengers Campus is bopping over here. I kind of like the way these look. This might be the new shades of the future. Thank you. Good night, good mission. Yeah. You want to think about you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. J'assigne les profils de couleurs individualisées. Calibrage des lanceurs d'étoiles. Je suis là, Spider-Man. Je suis là, chérie. Vous en êtes où Nous sommes en route. Ok, sit back and enjoy your ride until we reach the impending disaster. Quoi Je croyais que le niveau de risque en était encore à danger exponentiel. Le désastre, c'est pas juste. Je suis un petit sénateur. Je suis vraiment content de vous voir. 
It was fun riding Spider-Man again. I just feel like the ride's just a little too short. If it was longer and had more scenes, I think I would like it a lot more. And now it's time for Flight Force. Look at that, Flight Force. It's inside this building here. I like how they added the big A to the show building in the back there. Kind of looks like, you know what I mean? It fits perfectly. This is another ride I'm not too sure I'm going to be able to film because like Rock and Roller Coaster, it's all in the dark and it has a launch sequence in it. So we'll see once we get up there. I at least like to show you guys the queue though. And especially since this one used to be Rock and Roller Coaster, I'm excited for it. I wonder if they have one of those cool walls, the doors. Oh, wow. I love how the front has a little arc reactor on it. Flight Force was a lot of fun. I wasn't allowed to film it, but it was basically a carbon copy of Rock and Roller Coaster, just with Avengers music and Avengers projections. And now we made our way out, and the Hulk is visiting the Avengers campus here in Disneyland Paris just for two weeks. And we happen to be here during that time, so I'm hoping that we get to say hi and meet him. It's not the Hulk, but it is Spider-Man. Wow, wow. Hey, hey, you! Yeah! <laughs> I decided to put on a poncho, and I am anti-poncho, but look at me. I look ridiculous. I look ridiculous. <laughs> it looks like because of the rain, there's no Hulk, so at least we got to see Spidey. One of the things they're building in Walt Disney Studios at the moment is a uh, frozen themed land. And it's actually going to be going far back. It's a massive expansion that they're putting together. As you can see, this is going to be it way back here. And are we also getting a Star Wars land here? Doesn't that look like a Star Wars land? It, almost, it looks like Galaxy's Edge almost. Holy moly, they might be doing a massive expansion. Yeah, because like we are right here. We're right here, so this is actually going to take it all the way back and kind of look like an Epcot like Lagoon style. And it's going to be Arendelle back there. That's really going to be huge. Holy moly. As for now, though, we're making our way back to the world of Pixar. It's like the Toy Story and Remy's Ratatouille area. And they got a big statue of Buzz Lightyear. Look at Buzz. And then this way is Toy Story Playland. Takes you just right on into RC. I wouldn't mind doing RC, but I got this poncho on right now. And I don't know how ponchos work on rides too much, you know? It's a very small, scaled down, like Toy Story Land. Very scaled down. Well, we're scaled down. Oh, we are, we are! We're toys now. You're good, you. Oh, and they also have like a army like parachute guy ride here. Probably for the kiddos, you know? We're definitely making our way back to Paris. Look at this. Fanciness. And there's a restaurant back here that uh, Remy's Ratatouille Adventure actually takes you through. At the end of ours, we go into that last scene. I'm pretty sure we go into the restaurant here. The rain's really starting to come down, but I think we're gonna do single rider here. Too simple. 
Voilà. Mais oui, that's it. That's so cool, that's the restaurant right there. It was almost the same exact ride as Epcot, but this is the original one, and it's cool how it led into the restaurant itself. One of these days, if I ever come back here, I'd love to come Chez Reme. Chez Reme. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? Chez Remy. <laughs> but that's the restaurant, I would like to eat there. <laughs> Now I think we're gonna make our way onto Crush's coaster. This is a really cool ride because it just spins around and around. Oh, you can see it actually coming out right here. I know, but it's really long, darling. It's a unique ride too. That's the funny part about it. Let's see if we can see one come launching out. Whoop! <laughs> Totally gnarly, dude. <laughs> Righteous squirt. Righteous squirt. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. That was all right. That was nice. Hi, dude. 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 At first, I thought they might have had a Monsters Incorporated ride, but they just have a scream monitor where you scream and fill the tank as much as you can. You gotta light it all the way up. <laughs> I wonder if I can get up there. I did nothing, you know, I just looked like a fool for screaming. <laughs> I was louder than that kid. Maybe it's only kid screams. Oh, that's true. That's true. Adults don't count. 
We're gonna make our way back to our hotel and we're gonna cut through Disney Village. Disney Village is like the downtown Disney area and you can see they've got an IMAX theater, the World of Disney. They actually have a Disney store and a World of Disney together. And I thought that was kind of cool. Like they're not together, they have separate stores, but I want a World of Disney and a Disney store. Here's a look at the map. It's not that big. It's actually very small. There's only like a handful of bars and restaurants. In fact, there's 12 of them. And uh, yeah, it's really cool because it's right next to both parks and it's surrounded by all of the Disney resorts that they have here. So it's kind of just the way you would enter in uh, Disneyland of California. They have a Nets Diner, which is like a diner uh, like uh, 50s primetime cafe, except for all of the uh, waitresses and waiters, they uh, go around on roller skates, which is kind of cool. They also have the Royal Pub, they have a country music kind of bar. I, f I think it's called Cowboys. I don't know what that sign says Cowboys and City Slickers. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what that sign says right next to the war uh, the, the Royal pub well it says country Western saloon But I think it's like Billy Bob's I'm pretty <laughs> I have to look up But I thought I just saw a sign that said Cowboys and City Slickers that would be funny if it did say that Let me see here Billy Bob's it is Billy Bob's it says oh Cowboys and City folks welcome <laughs> But it is called Billy Bob's and it's actually a buffet and this has been open since 1992. Same with the other park. And then they have a steakhouse, a Starbucks, and a rainforest cafe, and then a sports bar on this side. But honestly, the coolest and most important thing out of all of Disney Village is the fact that they have a McDonald's. Look at that, a McDonald's, wow, on Disney property. McDonald's and Disney has a long running partnership and it used to be in Walt Disney World and now uh, this is probably the only place you'll find a McDonald's on property. And here's a look at the map again as we get closer and uh, our hotel itself right here, Disney's uh, Hotel New York, the Art of Marvel. Then they have the Cheyenne, the Santa Fe, Newport Bay Club. There's only a handful of resorts, but they're all pretty nice. And with that, I feel like we are done here today. The rain has gotten the best of me, but I got to enjoy a Walt Disney Studios and we got a lot done. Now, there are some things we didn't do, but it's a very small park, so it's not going to be a very long video, but I did enjoy a lot of it. Pim's test, well, Pim's Kitchen was such a highlight for me. It was so good and remarkable. I absolutely like loved it. It changed my mind about some of the Disney food here. And uh, yeah, it's still gonna be fun. I'm probably got one more day left. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to enjoy and uh, make the most of it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. I'm a soggy bottom boy. I accept that because uh, I just wanna stay out no matter what. Ow! Anywho's, <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye.